Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text to slides in a Photos for Mac slideshow. In a previous video, I showed you how you could add text titles to different sections of your slideshow presentation. However, in this video, we'll be focusing on individual slides. Perhaps you're making a slideshow for a birthday, an anniversary, family history, or something like that, and you'd like to call out specific individuals in the photos, maybe with text or with arrows or shapes. That's exactly what we're going to cover in this video video. So if we jump into photos, you can see here that I have a slideshow presentation from a vacation that my wife and I took a couple of years ago. And there are a few things that I'd like to call out. To get this to work, first, you're going to browse through your presentation until you find the slide that you'd like to annotate. So here I've got slide 10, which has this little drink right there with the ice all over it. And I'd like to annotate that so that the next time my wife and I go to this place out in Turks and Caicos, we can order that same drink. How do I do that? We're going to double click on the slide in the film strip at the bottom of the slideshow. This is going to open up a screen that allows us a few different tools for image editing. But what I'm interested in doing is marking up the photo. So if we click this dot 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 button, which is the extensions button, we can click on markup, which opens up a number of markup tools from left to right. So here I've got a sketch tool, drawing tool, shapes, text, and a few other controls that are available all along here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button here to ensure that it's selected. And then I'll just draw what looks like an arrow on faith. I'm going to hold it a second and then when I let go, it photos turns it into an arrow. You can do the same thing with an iPhone or an iPad. In fact, if you have an iPhone or iPad, you may see this button here at the end of all of our annotation tools, which allows you to throw this image to your iPad so that you can draw on the iPad or throw it to your phone so you can draw with these same markup tools using your finger on your phone. And then when you press done on your iPhone or iPad, the edits show up here on the Mac and then you can save them to this image into your slideshow. But what I'm going to do here is try and keep it simple. I'm going to click here on this text tool, which throws text into the middle of my slide. I'm going to drag that up here. If I'm interested in changing the text color, that's where this AA button is. I can make the text bigger or smaller, and I can also change the color of the text here. Actually, this is pretty good. I'm going to double click in there and I'm going to call this a mint julep. That's not julep. This is julep. So we're going to do that. And now I'm going to click away and then reposition this just a little bit. Click on my arrow, drag the blue pointer just a little bit like so, and then click the center point of my arrow. There we go. That's a mint julep. I've made my annotation and I'll save my changes into this image. When I'm happy with how the image looks, I'm going to go ahead and click done. And that throws me back into my slideshow. Now, as I've been playing with this setting, I've noticed that sometimes based on whatever my computer's doing, I might have to click into my slideshow and browse away from the image and then browse back in order for the text annotation to show up. Other times I've had to quit photos altogether and then jump back into photos in order to see the edits show up. They appear here, so I'm good. I'd like to do the same thing for the next photo. I'm not going to click it here on the stage or on the slide. I'm actually going to click on the film strip, double click to open up the image editing tools and then click the dot 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 and mark up. And so there we go. So let's say that later on you come back to the slideshow and you realize, you know what? I don't want those annotations anymore. What you can do is double click on that image that contains the markup and you can click revert to original, which throws away the annotations and puts the image back to the way it was. Now you'll notice here that my annotation has not vanished from the slide. I have to browse away. And sometimes when I come back, the annotation will vanish and go back to the way it was originally. Again, you might have to quit photos altogether and launch it again in order for that to show up. But that essentially is what you need to do in order to annotate specific images in your Photos for Mac slideshows. If you have a tech question, please drop a comment and let me know. If you liked the video, click like. Let me know Know whether or not you're working on a slideshow and how it's coming along. Oh, by the way, if you'd like to dig deeper into how to create slideshows all together, you may want to check out this video here, which goes into how to use photos for Mac to create slideshows. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.